Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? We're going to attempt <laughs> to do the chicken tray again. And let's hope I get it right this time. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try and try again, right? So this time I have the friction pen. I kind of remember even lifting it up and showing it to you last time, but I didn't pay attention. And this time I'm double, double checking, triple checking, quadruple checking. It is the right pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some doodles. And before I go too far, we're going to try it out. <laughs> we're going to make sure it works. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Alicia. Okay, so I still have my paint here because I mixed it up and I didn't want to waste it. So I stuck it in a plastic baggie last night. It looks like it's still soft enough. So let's find a nice brush oh yeah that's still good and soft okay so what I want to do is I want to see if that paint if it's gonna um, how do I word this properly words and words I want to make sure that when I paint over these lines and then heat it up that they're actually gonna disappear actually you know what I probably don't even need the lines now after all this fussing because if I just go like you know that far in it should be good Let's try that. But let's make sure that disappears anyways. Good afternoon. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Rhonda. It is erasing, so that's good. But I don't think I really need it. <laughs> would have saved me a whole lot of hassle yesterday if I would have thought about it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, it's just a learning curve. I hope my fan's not too loud again. Um, I do have it on, but I have it on low. But mercy sakes, it is a warm one. What is everybody having for weather right now? Prayers for those that are involved in that uh, storm that came through, um, that did all that flooding in Texas. We don't get a lot of coverage on that stuff. But I did see briefly um, that it said that there was flooding in, I believe it was Texas. But that's all they pretty much tell us. They're just telling us that, you know, um, hi, Cheryl. They pretty much just tell us, you know, why we're going to get the big rainfall, right? So we're going to get the tail end of the Texas storm is basically what I think it was. But we don't get any of the other details. So I'm hoping everybody is okay. We don't hear about casualties or damages really. They, they really limit our knowledge. <laughs> Bad storm on its way today. And Rhonda, whereabouts are you again? I know we've talked about this a few times, but we're supposed to get the horrible rain, I think, tomorrow. It's just really cloudy today and, like, a lot of rain tomorrow. But, you know, you can't complain. Except for that my backyard is growing mushrooms everywhere. Um, but it could be worse, right? At least, you know, ours is just rain. It's, it could be worse. Overcast in Michigan. Yeah, that's kind of how we are, too. Hi, Kim. And Kim. We've got Kim Barron and Kim Strotter. Hi, Patty. So, yeah, I hope everybody's okay and, you know, staying safe. But like I said, I really, not that I watch the news much anyways, but when I do turn it on for weather or what, we just don't get a lot of, a lot of the details. And it's hard for us to even get um, any American news, which is weird because like growing up, we always watch, you know, the six o'clock news and the 10 o'clock news and the seven o'clock in the morning news. Um, and we used to have so much more coverage. Now it's like, we don't hear anything. I feel like we're in the dark all the time. But anyways, I'm going to stop complaining and talking, talking about such stuff because Facebook, you know, might get nasty with me. And we'll talk about happier things. <laughs> like crafting. 98 in Montana. Ooh, that's warm, eh? I think it's warm outside today. I haven't really been out much. I haven't even really paid attention to that. I just looked to see what was going on with the cloudiness. 
and that's because we're going to get torrential downpour tomorrow. Okay, so I think we've got a good distance all around. It's probably going to need a second coat, but let's dry this up and see. Ohio, okay, yeah, that's, for some reason I was thinking out that way, but I wasn't positive. Um, I wouldn't have said definitely Ohio, but that area. <laughs> Do you follow Walls and More? No, I don't know what Walls and More is. Yeah, okay, so it's really humid get in. You're in Gat, no. So whatever you're having, we're pretty much having, so. I know my husband came at lunch and he said uh, he was happy that the air was on in the breezeway. Because I go, it's nice and cool in here, so I assumed it was quite warm out there. Oh, it's a creator. Nope, I haven't seen that page. Walls and more. I'll try and remember to look at it. If not, just shoot me a message. I'll take a peek at it. 94, it feels like 105. Oh, stay cool, friend. That's not nice. Actually, before I get too far with this, I want to see. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty under there. It'd be horrible if I did the whole thing and then I was like, oh my gosh, that color is bad. <laughs> so, are we ready for auction? I've been pulling out a few more things for auction again on Thursday night. Pulled out a few more prints that I had. Like, I have little piles of them everywhere. <laughs> so the other night when we were doing it, I had just grabbed the one stack that was handy. Um, but I grabbed out some more, and there is a few more pieces of rice paper, too. Um, for those that are interested, that will be in the auction. I print things off and sometimes I forget that I even have it sitting there. And then of course there is still lots of chalk transfers. Lots and lots of them. I'm not sure when we'll ever be finished selling all those because there's so many. And then a few finished goods, just to mix it up a bit. This was um, actually in Ottawa, Rachel. This one I picked up, um, let me think. It was the day that Chris went to um, BC. Oh, Maryville Road. It was on Maryville Road at Value Village. And I bought a lot of them that day. A lot. Like, I think I bought 13 trays that day. But, yeah, this one's really cool because it's got the legs on it. I haven't been able to find many that had all four legs. A lot of them have three legs <laughs> or two legs left on it. But they all seem to have a broken leg. And I'm like, what am I going to do with that? Oh, Elizabeth, you're going to love it. You do need to try it. You need to try it. It is fun. I did a lot of chalking for a long time, and then, but I'm always, I'm always drawn back to my favorite is. Um, oh, thank you. My favorite is always decoupaging. I think. I've always loved decoupaging, and sometimes you know I get sidetracked and I start other stuff, other kinds of crafting, but I think you know decoupaging is always where I end up going back to. It's my. I think that's my real niche. <laughs> Whether it's on a bottle or a tray or on a flat surface. 
dishes. I've done so many different things, but it seems to be my fave. This one here, can you get it at Hobby Lobby? Um, I imagine you can get one something like this, not probably this specific one. This is an Amazon. Um, it is for embossing. So you would uh, uh, look in that kind of area. Um, embossing, um, scrapbooking area, kind of up in that area. They should have a heat tool. I have put the link a couple times for Amazon on the page, but... I imagine Hobby Lobby. I've never been in a Hobby Lobby yet. I really should do that sometime. Um, we don't have them here, right? So I've never been in one. Michael's, um, I'm pretty sure they would carry it too. We do have Michael's up here. I'm really not that far from a Hobby Lobby. I just don't get around to getting over there. Just making sure I got nice and close to my little edge. Let's put on some glasses and double check. Make sure we have no little chunks and bumps and anything like that. Michael's Hobby Lobby, they're the same? I don't think so. Are they? If you've seen one, you've seen them all, is probably what you're saying. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> Can't be. Because the stuff that I watch my southern friends use on their lives, and they're like, oh, I got a Hobby Lobby. We don't get that up here for like a couple years. Even what you get in your dollar stores in the States, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that. We check our dollar stores. We don't get it for at least two years after. <laughs> We're a little slower up here. We're a little laid back. And Michael's is more expensive. I've heard that too, yeah. And that's what I thought, Debbie. Yeah. Hobby Lobby has so much more. Like, I remember a few years ago, um, I went to a... Um, wise owl painting party um it was for all of us retailers and they had stopped at hobby lobby and they had got um i'm trying to think paper mache i guess is what it is um little skulls and pumpkins for us to paint that fall we never got that stuff ever up here still haven't seen it up here and that would have been back in 2000 and 2017, I think. Might have even been before that. I'm just afraid I'd get into Hobby Lobby and then I'd have no money left in my, like, I'd have to sell my car in the parking lot. I'd want too much stuff. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. <gasps> I think that's gonna look pretty. What do you think? Do you like that pink with it? I think it's pretty. Okay. Is my friend Wendy watching? Wendy, I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna do it right. She'll be laughing when she hears that. Okay, so my decoupage medium. I have Mod Podge handy, but y'all know I love this stuff too much. 
I love this stuff so much. I'm not sure I will ever use up my Mod Podge. I might end up just throwing it out. <laughs> I didn't think there was a big deal between a Mod Podge and every other kind of, you know, decoupage medium out there because I've tried a few. But once I started with this one, I'm like, I gotta use up the other stuff, but I don't think I ever will now. I just love this stuff too much. Let's make sure we're still pretty even. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab, ah, thank you, Dorothy. Um, then I'm going to grab my little tool, which I haven't even taken out of the plastic wrapper because why bother? It works in the wrapper and then it's easier to clean. peel back the other side and it just makes it easier doing this way I don't always remember to do it the right way like peeling it back and doing half and then doing the other half because I get too excited and I just try and lay it down um, but if you're really trying to line things up like I am right now it's best to do it this way nice even coat and if you go over the pink it's okay because it's all going to get top coated anyways so even if you go too big of an area it's better than going too small pretty when it's done or at least that's what I hope right <laughs> okay I'm gonna dry it up a bit and then I'm gonna go over it with one more coat hi Kim Kim are you back home yet or are you still on the road hi Sharon oh Grace you're so sweet I hope everyone's having a terrific Tuesday too I love it when you guys come on and you're, you're back home and hanging. Oh, that's a, a needed job, but not a fun job, I'm sure. Yeah, I love it when you guys come on and you like chat with each other and you're getting to know each other and you say there's such nice things to each other. I, I just love it. We have such a good group of people here. Everybody is so supportive. I love it. Okay, so I like to start from the center and work my way out, except for that one corner that I saw sticking up.
And if you find it bubbles at all, don't freak out, okay? I remember when I first started decoupaging and I would really panic over bubbles and then I'd be trying to flatten it and all that stuff and really like there's one right there and I'm just gonna leave it alone, okay? Oh, you're fixing for the thunderstorm in South Georgia. That's what we're getting tomorrow. Stay safe, stay dry. Hi, Maria. Hi, Faye. Um, yeah, stay safe and stay dry. So these wrinkles um, or bubbles right now, I just leave them alone now because I know once it dries, it's just the paper stretching when it gets wet. And then when it dries, most of it, like 99% of the time, it goes back flat. If not, then I'll worry about it like tomorrow. <laughs> and what I would do is if it's really bugging me, if there's a bubble there, um, cause bubbles, I have to flatten out a wrinkle. Sometimes you just have to deal with them. You know, it is what it is, but, um, bubbles, you like to flatten those out. So if there's a bubble tomorrow after it's all dry, what I do is I take a pin, just a sewing pin and I pop a few holes in it. You won't notice it. And then I take my heat tool and I rub it with my finger and try and get it flat. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to take the iron out and I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper over it and I'm gonna just touch the iron to it very quickly, just quickly enough that it's heating up and gonna tack it back down, okay? Um, you don't wanna do it too long because you're also softening up your top coat that you've put on, right? So you don't wanna peel up what you got. A fleck of something right there so keep that in mind but yeah if you got any bubbles just wait till tomorrow so there we are also you'll have less chance of bubbles if you just let it air dry there is like it's some people have problems on their pages that I've heard of of just people not being nice and for the most part, I think we have an amazing group. Everybody is so supportive here. I feel really blessed. So yeah, it, when you're doing this, you're best if you let it air dry. You can walk away, go have your coffee or something. Um, whatever, but you're best to let it air dry and then come back and work with it. But for the sake of lives, or if you're impatient, <laughs> we're going to dry it up. I can see that I didn't get quite enough on one little corner here. Well, one little side. Right there. So let's get that down. I'm also going to have a surprise for you um, in the auction. The print is actually from my website. It's a printable that you can print at home. Um, I'll drop my link for my website right here. Um, it's one of my prints. But there's also going to be something else in the auction that I'm working on um, that we've never tried before. But we're going to sell something, something that we used to sell but we don't sell really anymore. If that makes sense? It's going to be a surprise. I think you'll love it because we kind of talked about it, but we kind of didn't. There I go with my very vagueness again, right? Elizabeth, you say we never meet, but someday we're going to. <laughs> someday I am hoping that we can meet. I really want to meet some of you. 
It is my goal. I want to meet you guys. Because you guys have been so encouraging for me. Okay, so here's my thing. This blue matches almost perfect with the hint of blue that's through here. But up top, it's got more of a greenish shade through it. So I'm not sure if I just want to go blue, which is really pretty, or if I want to mac, try and mix a little bit of green in there. Let's see what happens if we try to mix a little green. Of course, these are brand new again. I went shopping a couple weeks back and bought all new acrylics because I went in for a pink and then I saw, oh, I don't have that color and I don't have that color. It was a horrible loophole that I fell down. <laughs> I ended up coming home with, I don't know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, I think 30 new paints because I ran out of pink. It was a horrible, horrible rabbit hole I fell down. <laughs> but they're softer colors than I had before. <laughs> Perlin Creations by Linda. Hi, Linda. I haven't checked out your page yet either. I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so I know I want mainly blue with, I'm thinking, a hint of green in it. If not, then I might just accent some green in it. I'm not really sure. Let's bring down the lights so we get a good color. Can you guys even see where I put that? Okay, it's behind words for me, but we're gonna pick up a tiny bit of green and just see what happens to this blue. It might go muddy. Okay, let me find a scrap piece of paper over here. This is how I do color swatching. <laughs> oh, that is so perfect together. Oh, look at that. That is gonna look so gorgeous together. Oh yeah, now I just gotta figure out how to mix up more of that same ratio. <laughs> But yeah, that is what I want. It just needed that hint of green to it. Because the blue is just almost a little bit on the purpley side. And I needed a hint of the grayish tone, which I would get from the green. Ah, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to go too close yet to my pink. I'm just going to kind of do up my, I'll go in and do the edging after if that makes sense. I can move that light so you can see a bit better. I do like this new light that I got because um, often what I seen under the lights, like under my um, ring light and stuff, wasn't the same. Once I took it outside to top coat it or even to what you guys see on camera. And this, this light seems to help me quite a bit. Good lighting is important. <laughs> Isn't that going to be gorgeous together? Like that. Oh, it's going to be perfect. And then I've got to figure out how to trim out things yet. I haven't, I haven't thought that far yet. I just knew I wanted it on this tray with these colors. Mm. 
And remember, your first coat is basically a crumb coat. If you have a little white that shows through, it's okay. You'll catch it on the next one. The main thing is me getting it smooth because I really don't like too much brush strokes. It is blue. It is blue, Carol. It's it's a blue, but I've added some green to it. It's mainly this blue, which is called French blue. That's the majority of it, but it kind of looks like a purpley hint to it. It's, um, my mom would have said like a cornflower blue. Um, this one is called Mossy Meadow, and I added just a touch of that to it. So it is blue. But it just added more of a gray tone to it. And the other great thing is, you know, that that color is uniquely us. Mm. Cannot be found in a bottle. So at this stage is when my brain, if I wasn't trying to think of, you know, conversation, <laughs> um, my brain would be going, okay, now after I'm done this stage, what do I want to highlight my edges with? Am I going to be highlighting it with golds, silvers, um, another color maybe instead of a, instead of a metal? So if any of you have ideas on that, let me know. You guys could be thinking one step ahead for me on what you think would go really pretty with this. I'm thinking probably golds if I was to do a metal color because um, silver, there isn't really much in silver where the gold would probably match in with the rooster, um, depending on the shade of gold. But I'm not really sold on that yet. <laughs> I'm still thinking. So what do you guys think? Yeah, my mom loved her cornflower blue. That's what she always said. It's funny, her cornflower blue came in different shades, but it was all cornflower blue to her if it was like that dusty blue. next to that other tray. It would. That pink is going to look really pretty. <laughs> You're funny. I was actually thinking, I was looking around yesterday for, you know, more prints and stuff like that for the auction, and I came across my um, steamy gears here, and I was wondering, should we be doing a steamy gears tray? Would anybody be interested in that as a tray? We've done it as other things, but I was thinking a beach bag and a tray. Or are we just over that and move along? <laughs> I think gold would be good. Aw, oh, thank you, Joanne. Almost done this and then we're gonna do a giveaway so I hope you all are commenting on what kind of trimming it out I should do or maybe it should be pink again <gasps> maybe because then that would be like oh maybe I'm starting to think pink guys that same pink on the edge might be really pretty
All right, so there's the first coat. Now it's just got to dry up. Look at that. And I didn't go tight, tight, tight. I'm going to grab my little bristle brush, like a really... I've got some good ones, okay? Like these are my everyday slap-it-on paint brushes, okay? Um, and then this is my good stuff. <laughs> Why it's got a floral piece that I made in there, I don't know. But these are like typically my good paint brushes. So I've got watercolor paint brushes. They're my more expensive paint brushes. But something like this with my flat brush is going to be what I go in and do all my little detail between the pink and the blue. And I tend not to do that on live because I'm too busy thinking and I'm talking and all that stuff. So it's easier if I just sit and, you know, do it, you know, calmly, quietly by myself. So I hope you guys understand that, that I do some of the stuff, you know, behind the scenes. Yeah, and this has to dry before I slap on a second coat anyways. Um, I know some people sit and they'll do the whole tray live, but for me to do a really good job on it, I do like to take some, some time just where I don't have to talk. <laughs> Where I don't have to, you know, chew gum and walk at the same time. And, uh, and really concentrate on what I'm doing just to get a nice clean edge and stuff. Um, but then we'll come back and we'll do the edging together. But see this ridge right here? This is the one, oops, I got fluff on there. This raised out ridge is what I'm wondering. Should it be pink or should it be a gold. Let me dry up a section and then we'll play around a bit. And remember, I hope you're chit-chatting it because I'm going to do a giveaway. Everybody loves your happy mail. So, let's just take a tiny bit of this because I can paint over it. And we can. Oops. Obviously, I have to paint over it because it's not a very good job. We could do something like that. Or. gold paint. I'm thinking what kind of gold would I want to do? Um, sorry guys, just brains. The hamster's slow on the wheel today. Actually slow on the wheel most days. Um, well, let's first think about liquid pearls. If I edged that out, that's pretty with it. What other shades do I have here? Got a brand new pack here that I didn't even open yet. How many of you love the dimensional stuff like liquid pearls or stickles? Basically the same idea. Yeah, Dorothy's like, stickles, stickles, stickles. Um, these are actually called liquid pearls. I just find they come in more colors. Um, same idea, though. Exact same idea. Okay, that is too pink. These are all... That blue does not match. Oops. There's a gold. really kind of platinum pearl though it's kind of cool it's kind of just like a peachy pinky oh you've never tried them oh my gosh they're not an expensive item but they are that one's too purple they are a fun item for for playing around with 
Okay, that's the typical sparkle. Silver pearl wouldn't be too bad with it. Silver pearl actually would be quite pretty with it. Now I'm getting too many options. That's too pink. I don't think I want glitter. White opal would be cute. The reason I actually have so many of these is because at Easter time, when we came out with those bunnies and all those printables that have all those pearls and stuff, um, you ordered a lot of stuff. <laughs> Did you use my link? Did you use my link? I hope so. <laughs> um, when we came out with those printables that had all the pearls and stuff on it, I thought these things were going to be amazing to do dimension with them. But you came in late. What type of plate are you using? And where do you find them? Okay, the liquid pearls I got off of Amazon, but you can get them in like Michael's, probably Hobby Lobby. The dish itself is a silver tray. That's why it's got all those funky colors because it's tarnished. And I don't clean up the back. <laughs> I leave it tarnished. I love tarnish. It's weird, but I love tarnish. This one though will have to get painted, which I don't usually paint the backs. But I'm going to have to paint this edge because you'll see it when it's sitting and paint the feet. So whatever colors I do on this side, I'm going to do the same underneath or maybe a white. I'm not quite sure. But usually I don't paint the bottoms at all. But for this one, I'm going to have to. And thank you, Patty. Thank you so much. Okay, so these are my options. That's a tough call, man. That is a very tough call because they all match really, really well. Whoops. Whoops. Going the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too funny. Hey girl. Okay. So that is my colors to choose from. And it's funny because this one right, no, this one right here for you guys, it's looking a little grayish, right? And for me... It's peachy. It's like a peachy pink, and it looks really pretty with it. This one here is looking very blue for you guys, or at least it does in my camera right now. And it's actually... It's actually not blue. It's a silver pearl. And I'm thinking silver pearl. Look at that. I'm getting paint all over me because it's still wet. All right, well, you never know till you try. So we're not at this stage, but I'm gonna play around. Make sure I get a good top coat on there first. Mm, let's do one more top coat. <laughs> Just so it's easy to wipe off, okay? Hi, Teresa. Okay. I had to throw a little more top coat in this area just so I can play around. If I didn't have a good top coat, I wouldn't be able to play with it. Like to put drops down, look at it, and then wipe it off before it dries. It would soak into the paper, right? So you got to make sure you have a good top coat on there first. So this one is platinum. I do that because when I do my little dots, for some reason I get little like sticky up things. <laughs> and I like them to flatten out a little bit. And maybe it's the way I apply them, but. Okay. 
Or I could do just a bead of it along, which would be really pretty too. Okay, I know exactly which one I'm doing, but I'm going to show you guys. Can you see those colors? Which one would you go with? We're going to call it, um, let's go this way. Where is it? I can't see. One, two, three and three. Which one would you go with? One, two, or three? One, two, or three? Oh, you sprinkled and tingled. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think? One, two, or three? Which one would you do? Let me get a baby wipe to wipe it all off because I don't need any of it there at this stage yet, but. Mm. Really? always interesting to see what everybody chooses and there we go it's all wiped up you would never know it was there you can only see one <laughs> well Vicki you got it right I'm gonna choose number one that's the one I loved number two wasn't bad it was it was pretty but I think I'm gonna go with number one so I'm going to put those two away. Otherwise, you know, tomorrow I'll come back and I'll be like, hmm, maybe I changed my mind. Um, but that's the one I'm going to go with. The one that looks bluish, but it doesn't look bluish to me. But it looks bluish to you guys for sure. It is the prettiest. It matches the nicest. Um, let's do a giveaway. That got just chatting. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to look away, and I'm going to roll, scroll, stop. Grace P. Thomas. Grace P. Thomas. You're getting Happy Meal. Congratulations. You're on my Happy Meal list. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Oh, I change my mind often. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Like, this pink definitely is not going to stay there. I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, no, no. Um, probably have to paint over it, because I don't think I can wipe that off at this stage. I let it dry. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do up there yet. If it'll be stickles, too. Yeah, I'm just going to have to paint over that, because I'm going to end up wiping away all my blue. Um, I don't know about the stickles up there. See, here we go playing around again. But if you don't play around, how are you going to know, right? What if... And nope. That ain't it. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do up here. Has anyone tried using stickles like a wax kind of idea? Does it work? Hmm. Just basically puts a shine on it when you do that. But that might be pretty. Actually, that's kind of pretty. I'll show you. Can you see that? That's kind of pretty like that. Yeah, sometimes you just wing it the whole way through. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that back, though, because... 
I want to make sure that my second coat of paint adheres really well, right? So. It is pretty. And see, it's not using it in its typical way. I've never done that before. I would never think to use stickles like that usually, except for I'm like, how would I matchy match that? So sometimes you just have to, you know, throw the rules aside and try something new. I'm definitely not not somebody that's scared to do that. <laughs> Let's be honest, half the time I forget what the real rules are anyways. But life's more fun that way. Okay. Covering up all that stuff that I played around with. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to say goodbye to y'all. I'm going to sit and take my time and do all my edging in there. I'm going to get my second coat on. And then, I don't know what time it is. It's 2.30, so I'm not sure if it'll be later this afternoon or tomorrow. But we'll come in. We'll do the stickles together, or at least part of it. Maybe I'll have it started and make sure I like it first. Um, but I'll leave some... Yeah, rules? Is there rules? <laughs> exactly. Um... I might get started with it, and then once I've decided exactly what I'm doing, I'll come back and show you how it works. And then this is definitely getting resined. It's definitely going to get resin. So let's just have some fun with it. So I hope you all have a great afternoon, but that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to sit here and just take my time, get it all nice and pretty, so that whoever buys this at the auction, it'll be, you know, to the best as I can do. <laughs> okay blue paint on my finger, but thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this gives you ideas. I hope it inspires you. And um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what time I'll be on, but I'm also going to be live in the sorority at two o'clock. So you know I won't be live on this page at two. I'll be live in the sorority at two o'clock because it's my birthday. And tomorrow night, I'll be busy with the hubby and the kids. Um, and then Thursday night is auction. So busy week. I'll talk to y'all later though, okay? Have a great day and stay safe, stay warm, stay dry, but not too warm. <laughs> Bye guys.